Okay, we are filming. Um, I do not have a plan for this video. I am walking up my stairs and I'm just doing this before I even like set it on the tripod and convince myself not to do it. Um, cause I have a few minutes so we're just gonna record. Um, uh, I, uh, what am I gonna say? Basically, I haven't had a video up in a really long time but, um, I feel like in the midst of my day to day, I am always like, thinking about YouTube, which is weird, um, of just like, oh, what are things that I could film or upload? Uh, and last night in particular, um, I like woke up at 3 a.m. and um, was just thinking about YouTube the second I woke up. And with my phone on airplane mode, I just like whipped open to the notes app without thinking and then just started like typing a ton of different things that came to mind of just things I want to talk about and share about. And I have all of these lies in the back of my head where I'm like, oh, my room's not uh, like made enough to like film a video or like what background would I use? Or I'm um, like, what would I wear? Like, oh shoot, I'm not wearing makeup today. I can't do it. And I am just going to film without thinking because I feel like that's the most real way to do these videos. And um, we're just going to roll with it. And I don't have a plan, but I'm going to go gather the things that I had typed on my notes for this specific video uh, to share with you guys. These are just things that I really enjoy or have been liking these past few months. And they're a bunch of randoms, but let's just do it and see what happens. So I'm just gonna go gather those things now. Okay, see you in a sec. The first one is this blush from Benefit and it's called uh, Dallas. It's got this cool horse on it. Um, and I really like it because I feel like it doubles as a blush and a bronzer. The packaging is cool because I feel like it's much less prone to breakage. <laughs> I have, I think every blush that I have in my cosmetic bag is shattered because I've just dropped it, whether it's traveling or just like what I'm putting it on. So this one is cool because it's uh, like cardboard or whatever. So when I do drop it, because I have, uh, <laughs> it doesn't shatter and um, it's just easy to pack. Um, the next thing is this eyebrow kit, and I am terrible at brows. I tried to do them in middle school, and I'm traumatized just looking at photos because I thought it was necessary to just shave off the middle parts of my eyebrows, so they became super short and look really funny in photos. So ever since then, I just can't even get myself to try shaping them or whatever. This specific kit is called the Foolproof Brow Powder, and this one was recommended when I went in to get my brows done but it comes like this and there's two different shades. So you use the lighter shade um, on the more inner part of your eyebrow and then the darker shade on the outer part of your eyebrow. And you just use this little foam thing to apply it and then <laughs> there's a little spoolie on the inside and you just use that to like comb out your brows after you've filled them in with the color. The last beauty thing is the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Deep cream and I apply this every night. Um, it was given to me by Vicky. Shout out to Vicky when she went to Taiwan. She bought me a ton of Innisfree things and uh, this is one of the things that she bought that I literally use every single day. It is so soft and thick um, and I always wake up in the morning feeling like my skin has been super moisturized and the green tea scent is so good. Like it smells so good. It makes you feel like you are giving yourself deluxe treatment every night. The next thing that we can do are books. I had three and I don't know where the, oh. Okay, these are three books that I've really been loving and have been going through. Uh, there's a fourth one and I'll just talk about it because I don't have it with me. I actually gave it to my dad to read during his travels, so he's reading it and then we'll discuss it when he comes back. But that book is called Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and Fall on Our Star is such a good book and I read that he was actually really nervous to write a book after that because of the success that it had. The premise is that there's this girl who's trying to solve a mystery but really what the book is trying to get at is understanding what um, it looks like to be struggling with mental illness and he talks a lot about his own struggles uh, in different interviews that I've read but this book hits home and sort of like you as a reader are entering the brain of someone who is struggling with a specific type of mental illness and you can't help but feel compassion and I read it in like less than 24 hours. I'm not a night person but I stayed up until like 3 a.m. trying to finish the book. Uh, it's so good. The next three are more 
faith-based books and the first one is called Emotionally Healthy Spirituality by Pete's Pizzer. Peter Schizzaro. I'm just going to read the title, but it says it's impossible to be spiritually mature while remaining emotionally immature. So this book just really dives into your emotional health and how tethered it is to your spiritual life and um, how important it is to understand your story and the ways that it affects you today um, now as you're following Jesus. This book's not afraid to press into the hard parts of your life, which is uncomfortable, but I think really necessary for growth in our walk with God. I got it as a gift from If Gathering when I went there in February, and I immediately like started diving into it, and it's so good. The next one is called The Inner Voice of Love by Henry Nowen, and each specific page um, or devotional is sort of catered around a certain theme. So it's actually Henry Nowen's uh, journal from a certain season of his life, and I read this and I'm like, boy, my journal does not sound like this. I don't know if anyone else has taken the Enneagram, which I'll talk about later, but I'm a type two. And I was reading about Henry Nowen, and he was also a type two, and there's so many things that he struggled with in his life, or things that were like, yeah, just hard to wrestle through that he, pens about in this journal of his and I feel like I'm able to resonate and relate so much to it. Um, the last book is Tim Keller's Generous Justice. If you're someone who is really curious or interested in how faith is tied to social justice, this is the book for you. Um, yeah, reading it has really wrecked me. It talks a ton about God and who he calls us as believers to be with and to interact with in our life. Um, he shadows a ton of just like Jesus's life and the people that Jesus hung out with. I've definitely finished chapters like really misty eyed because yeah, I just feel I'm, um, compelled to change the way that I live my life and how I spend my time because of Tim Keller's book. So those are the four books. Um, I would recommend that these are so good. I just think reading is so important. I would encourage you guys to just dig into reading more. It's good for you. Yeah. That is all. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk about or share are uh, just some clothing pieces that I have bought in the past few months. Um, I feel like I've just been on this journey, especially in the past few weeks, of really understanding what it means to be shopping sustainably and ethically. I feel like we throw that word or those words around a lot, whether it's what the type of coffee we buy or the type of clothing that we shop for. But I was reading last week in the news about it being the five-year anniversary of the Bangladesh garment factory uh, accident that killed almost 1,500 people. And as I was reading like story after story, the ways that it really hurt people's actual lives and their families and stories, uh, I think I felt like just pretty wrecked in understanding that I as a consumer have not been doing a really good job of understanding like how the things that I buy affect other people's lives. and. I really wanted to start changing the way that I shop. I think I've had that desire and like, oh, maybe I should buy more sustainably or I'll even like try to, but I haven't really fully understood what that means or done the research for it. So I want to share a couple pieces that I've bought and sort of just like how I've slowly begun changing my type of or way of shopping, I guess is a way to put it. So the first thing that I've begun doing is uh, just going to more consignment and thrift stores. I think sometimes it may feel not as like fun of an experience because it's like secondhand shopping, but I think it's actually sort of like a treasure hunt. And I went to Crossroads a few weeks ago and found a couple pieces that I really, really liked and have worn a handful of times. So I want to show you guys to give you hope and inspiration that you can find things at thrift stores and consignment stores for really, really great deals. Um, the first thing is actually this Victoria's Secret bag. Uh, I did not know Victoria's Secret sold faux leather, leather bags, but I saw this at Crossroads and I've been wanting a leather backpack for a while and I found this there and it's really cute, super simple. Uh, just one uh, opening that I can dump a ton of things in and just some simple black leather straps. So I've been using this a lot as an alternative to a handbag or like a tote bag. So yes, I like it. It's very nice. Um, the next thing that I found there is this big fluffy turquoise-y 
deep turquoise sweater and I have a friend Maddie who she wears these like really cute fluffy sweaters and I felt really inspired by her when I saw this so I bought this too. It was actually all of these I think were like brought in the day that I went to Crossroads in Santa Barbara and bought them but I just like it. It's like very fluffy so um I've definitely worn it like five or six days in a row but uh I think it needs to be washed now. I actually pulled it out of the dirty pile, so I'm gonna wash it. Anyways, that's the second thing. Just a simple fluffy sweater. And then the third thing are is this pair of Urban Outfitters jeans. Um, they are awesome because they are wide leg and they were actually way too long, like dragging on the floor by like a couple inches, but um, I cut them and I actually want to cut them more so that's why they're folded but I think with wide leg pants they tend to look better on me. I'm like 5'5". Five five. They look better when they're cropped. These are a pair of denim pants that I feel like they're already broken into and they're really comfortable and flowy so I am really satisfied with these three things. It's actually really funny because when I was checking out at Crossroads the lady said that it was the same girl that brought in all three of these things so I was like whoever this girl be. We got similar styles, maybe, or maybe not, but that's just what I thought. Um, the next thing is I went to Everlane uh, a month-ish ago and bought a couple things. I like Everlane because they have really simple and classic pieces that I feel like can be paired with a lot of different things. So this black cropped sweater that I'm wearing is actually from Everlane. I like it. It's just simple. Uh, easy to wear and pair with things and then I also got another cropped sweater that is similar to it but striped I've had the same black t-shirt dress for like the past five years and I think I just needed something that was a little bit different so I grabbed a t-shirt dress this thing was like $25 which I feel like is a really good deal I'll link all of the product pages on this video so that you can see where to find them and then the last thing that I got from there is this cropped long sleeve gray tee. I've been really feeling the cropped look. Um, I tend to buy like potato sack sweaters and shirts, but um, I don't know. I just feel like cropped is my thing now, or at least it has been for the past months. Ever really. Um, and then the last thing uh, is actually the skirt. I don't know if this is too close up. Is that weird if I like stand on my bed? and show you um uh i don't know maybe <laughs> that's not a good shot but it's just this like a uh, 80s vintagey type burnt red pencil skirt with buttons down the middle and i'm just wearing it with this everlane sweater but i really like it uh would encourage you to consider shopping more sustainably and ethically and to not just say that but to really look into what that means and understand like what is the, the the like the line that you're gonna draw and like oh, I don't think I should shop at this store because of the way that they produce or um yeah just the things that they stand by so yeah okay oh and the last thing is just this jumper from Urban Outfitters and I like this one because it's so flowy um yeah it's Urban Outfitters and it's got these huge flowy legs which are comfortable and it's strapless so when the weather's nice, I'll just wear it as is, or I'll pair it with a leather jacket to warm me up. So, um, yep, those are the clothing pieces that I really like. Uh, my last few favorites are super random, but um, the first one is Friends. I am sort of behind on the Friends game and am finally watching it for the very first time. I'm on season four, and it's been a great way to end my days. So if you haven't watched Friends and... Uh, are a little behind like me, I would highly recommend starting it. It's great because the episodes are so short and I've just fallen in love with all the different characters. So that's one. The second one is a random are these mingles. My roommate bought them. I normally buy the smaller packs from Trader Joe's called Just Mangoes or something like that, but Costco sells a bigger bag and I really like them. So I nibble on them all the time. They're nice because they're just like dried fruit and you don't feel guilty eating a ton of them so I always stick them in my bag when I'm traveling or uh, just on the go for work and I really like them they're so delicious 
Uh, and then the third thing is the Enneagram. If any of you guys have never taken it, it's a personality test with nine types, one through nine. None are better than the other, but uh, I have realized I'm a type two, and since taking it, I feel like I've just been able to name a lot of things that I've been feeling as I go about my day in terms of how I experience my relationships and my friendships with people or even how I respond to certain situations and circumstances, and I feel like it's helped me understand like what's a healthy way to operate in understanding those things about myself and what are ways that are sort of like unhealthy and manipulative to other people and also to myself so if you guys have never taken it I'd recommend it you have to pay $12.99 for the full test but I think it's worth it because uh, I don't know just the ways that I've learned about myself and ways to better care for myself and my friendships and relationships uh, make it so much more worth it anyways that's all I had. Uh, I have to head out to work, but um, yeah, I want to thank you for sticking around for this video. Um, yeah, I know I haven't gotten one up in a while, but uh, I finally mustered up the courage to do it and actually made time for it. So um, thanks for watching. I know this is probably a longer video, so thanks if you stuck around till the end. Um, go ahead and hit subscribe or like this video if you wanna see more. Um, I'm going to do my best to get more videos out. My next one will have to do with my marathon and how it was for me and what training looked like because I feel like everyone should do a marathon once in their life. Um, okay, I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.